war class book that was recited amongst the, uh, I want to get under the light here. There was Charles Goodwinkle, Scotty Horn, Harry Luttrell, and the Lathams and Lennons. There were four class books. And soon after that, there was a fifth one. And the fifth one was called The Kid, and that was for young Scott. That didn't last very long as a kid because the Murrays and Sody got in on that and young Sky got a Starboat instead because there's a lot of friends of his over at Eastern Point had Starboat and so Sky graduated from Mason's Island. <laughs> Anyhow, now, I'm thinking early in, in the life of the club, there was G.S. Allen and his brother, uh, Lou Allen, and young Elry Allen. Elry Allen and Henry Plant and Henry Mills Selden over New London, who was a Connecticut College instructor. Those guys, this has to do with frostbites. And the frostbite came here in 1932, 1933. And these three guys got gangs from the western end of the South Rochmont area and gang of sailors from Marblehead, the Marblehead area, all here at the club. And they were some wonderful sales. There was John Allen. John Allen and George Ratsey, Sam Weatherill. God, I could go on and on. Arthur Knapp and, and you know, older than Rod who came later. <coughs> Anyhow, they had a bunch of sailors dinghies in and Dr. Harris had a Parashaw dinghy, which I sailed with the group. I got fired out of six races in one day. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to George Ratsey, I said, what should I have done? I was not kind of, I knew how to sail a boat, but these guys knew stop and tack, port tack, and overlap, and all that sort of thing, and I did. <laughs> George Ratsey says, you got to anticipate. I'll never forget that one word, anticipate. Oh yes. One more thing. Corny Shield was one of the best sailors down the other end of the sound, and he had a brother Paul Shields, and he sailed skyboats and so forth. And all those guys brought dinghies in. And Arthur Knapp and his wife and another couple stayed at our house up in Cockle Street in Mystic. And others stayed here in homes on the island because there were no uh, hotels around at the time. Everybody was in their in local homes. Anyhow, Paul Shield came here with a trailer and a dinghy, like all the others, only he had a royal voice pulling that trailer. <laughs>
Now, getting back to the club, Henry Shield and I were appointed to pick out a small boat for the kids. And Henry and I picked out the Jet 14s. And the kids all loved the Jet 14s, but their parents did. <laughs> the parents thought that the kids were all going to drown, but the kids just loved those boats. And so along came the Blue Jays. And incidentally, Arthur Knapp and his sister Leggy and all those guys, they had grandchildren with this time. And they came here, stayed with us up at the house, and they had the Blue Jay Nationals here at Mason's Island. Now, what else is there? <laughs> Anybody got any questions? 